go ahead. Hey, good morning. Happy Wednesday. So Chris Van Bloom from the Kitchen Studio Cooking School here yet again. And today I've got the easiest recipe in the history of recipes. All right. We are going to make some simple syrup. Now, what is it? Why do you need it? You've seen it somewhere. Do you really have to get that? Here's what it is. It is a simple combination of sugar and water used to sweeten things. Why do you care? Well, let me show you how to make it and then I'll tell you why this is so important to your life. So a simple syrup, you can go a couple of different directions with it. Um, I actually keep two bottles of simple syrup in my fridge at all times. Um, and we're gonna do like a one-to-one -one simple syrup. You don't even have to get fancy here. You're gonna take some sugar. I don't care what kind of sugar you have. Really, I don't care. So if you wanna do white sugar, you will get a clear simple syrup. If you wanna do brown sugar, or I love terminado sugar, because look at this, you guys have used this, right? This is the one they have at Starbucks, the sugar and the raw. You see that? Oh, and I love this one because you get this slightly caramely flavor out of it. All right, so check this out. I'm going easy today. One cup to one cup. You want to make a little more? Do one and a half cups to one and a half cups? Equal parts sugar and water look at anna anna had her last final yesterday so thank and she, goodness and she passed stats Woo! Woo -woo! so we're really excited but i've got her back to help me now okay anna come look at this again because this is kind of cool with the turbinado sugar it immediately gives off color from the sugar which is really cool all right so let's talk about while this cooks and i am putting in i think the recipe that the news post posted today um, is, I think it says a medium heat or I don't care. I'm going to stand right here. So I'm going to bring it up over a high heat. My goal is to melt the sugar into the water. So we're going to let that kind of do its thing. Should take about two, three minutes. My stove's pretty aggressive and we'll be in good shape. Why do you want simple syrup? So you can buy simple syrup in a fancy bottle with pretty label at the liquor store, like a good liquor store will have it. Target. Target. Target sure. has it. And you're going to spend four, I've seen it for $8 for like a really pretty label. This is going to cost pennies, right? So what do you use it for? I always keep my clear simple, which is just one-to-one -one white sugar to water that I bring to a boil until the sugar melts. I use that for my fabulous gin, cucumber, mint, and lime cocktails that I have all summer long. A lot of drinks will call for a little bit of simple syrup. If you use just regular old sugar, right? If you put sugar in a glass of iced tea, remember when we used to go to restaurants? If you ordered iced tea and you wanted the real sugar, I don't love artificial sweeteners personally. Um, it just, I don't like the taste of them. So if you ask, you can get sugar and you pour your sugar in and it all goes to the bottom of the glass. And you can stir that sucker forever and it's not gonna matter. Now you could make super fine sugar, right? At Kitchen Studio, we always go super fine because we're ridiculous. But all you do for that is you take regular white sugar and run it through a food processor. It's kind of fun, especially if you have kids, because it will make this sugar dust, sugar smoke that comes out. And I remember doing it with Anna. Um, we've done it for camps. And the kids I did are it. Like, I did to make a angel food cake. Angel food cake. Oh, yeah, you would do that. Mm -hmm. So what that does is it helps it melt a little faster. But with this, I always judge coffee shops based on whether they have simple syrup or not. And Baltimore Coffee and Tea down in Bowinger Creek, um, they always have simple syrup. So I love that. I don't know if Reddit Coffee Co. does or not. They strike me like they would, but um, not, on the, not on the side. I'm always looking for it, right? Because to me, that just shows you got it. 
So I even held off on making myself my cold brew today. Um, you don't need to use anything like this. I love a big old glass. And it's so funny. Nothing against Starbucks. Listen, when they get those holiday drinks, sugar me up and shoot me out. I love that stuff. But um, right now, somebody's like, oh, Starbucks is open again. Do you want to go? Anna, that was me. I think Anna even said it. And I was like, you know, my cold brew is just, it's just way better. Now, it's not the nitro. I'm in on a nitro. Yours is, but mine isn't, Mom. What? <laughs> my coffee is not better than Starbucks. Oh, my coffee is way better. So I use um, Pete's Cafe Domingo. I know it's so pedestrian, but it's really good. All right. So this is almost ready. But for my cold brew... Come on over here, Bobby. I always put just a little of this one in. And again, it's not, um, I don't flavor it, but what's caramel? Caramel is like cooked sugar, right? So I don't flavor it at all, but it just has a little extra pain. I saw one on um, a cold brew on Food 52 the other day that they brewed the coffee with cinnamon and dark sugar. Uh, or brown sugar overnight, and I was like, well, that seems delicious. But see how there's no big pile in the bottom? It just disperses really easily. Now, I have bottles from Ikea that I think I picked up for a buck. Um, a squeeze bottle is super fun, but try to have one that maybe has the little cap on it if you use it. Look at that, all done. I'll pour it out. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so it's funny because I have to do this the right. Usually, I think I'd use my left hand. So, there we go. What did we get? About 12 ounces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, up on top. So, there it is. Now, of course, for the life of me, because we were going to do this online, I couldn't find my funnel today. And I'm going to hold off. A little bit because I know this is just a burn waiting to happen. But what I do, especially if you're using a um, plastic bottle, just let it cool. I even let it cool in the pot, right? I just poured it in here because this has a spigot and it'll be easier for me to hit the target. But um, you're going to keep it in the fridge about a month. It doesn't last that long for me. I go through it a couple of weeks. I mean, I don't use a ton of it, but if we're doing social distancing, happy hour. Um, I do love those gin drinks with just a splash of the simple. Um, super important, if you are doing an alcohol drink with a clear alcohol, um, don't use the brown simple because it makes your drink look muddy and not pretty. You always want that one. So the ingredient you didn't know you needed, save yourself some money. I kid you not, you can put, put it in a Tupperware container. Who cares? And then use your spoon to just poop, poop, poop it out and you'll be all good. So simple syrup, one to one. If you start reading recipes that talk about two part sugar to one part water, that's for bakers. That's not for us, right? That's not what we want. We want something really light in density um, that's going to disperse really evenly in our drinks. So there you go. Simple syrup make it and this is super fun make some simple syrup and then make yourself a drink with it in send us a picture send me a picture christine at kitchenstudiofrederick.com send me a picture of you enjoying your awesome beverage with your simple syrup in the picture i'll get it to the news post and i bet they'll publish it next week so look cute be awesome stay well and i'll see you next week thanks Bye.